All right, Hannibal for King. Talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Salute again. Y'all know how I give it up. I'm about to show y'all some different variations for core work, at house core work. You can do this in your house, all right? I'm gonna show you a few different variations and I'm gonna give you guys some stuff maybe you've seen before, maybe you haven't, and then maybe not this way. But, uh, this is regular leg flutters, right? Seated leg flutters. This is for your core. See, and the more you lean back, the more you work in that core. See what I'm saying? The more you lean forward, it's harder to get the legs all the way up, but you keep it up. The more you lean back, the more you work in core. Y'all understand that? Regular in-house stuff. You leaning back, you're working more of the core. The more you lean back, the more you work in the core. The more you lean forward, the more you work in the bottom of the core. More, more your your quads and your lower leg. I mean your high leg, your lower core. But the more you lean back, the more you work your mid core. You're working up the core. The more you're working, the more you lean back, the more it's rising of what you're working. And overall, it's working this this whole center core right here. Okay. You Before we continue, um, show them what part of the body, what, what do you what do you call in the core? Oh, okay. Yeah, break, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah. my brother. I'm glad he, he, he uh, helped inform that he brought that to my attention. Um, we was talking about that. The core is not just your six pack or your two pack, your four pack. Some of y'all got four, your eight pack. Some of y'all got 10, 12. I've seen some of y'all mutants. Just this ain't your core. All of this is your core, right? All of this is core, all right? So just like underneath the chest and on top of your hips is core all around. From here, up here, core. All of this is core. Remember that, all of this, obliques, all of it. Don't just say, yo, man, my core workout is ridiculous. Listen, let's, let's really start calling each other out to help each other get better. You guys see me lacking, call me out. A lot of y'all gonna call me out on them dips. I call myself out on it, doing my best to give you guys some more stuff that y'all can enjoy. And at home, this is one of the most overlooked uh, core exercises because I, I offer it to a lot of women. I offer that information to a lot of women because you guys want to work so hard and do all this crazy stuff for your core. But don't take all that. I don't do sit up. Y'all ain't ever seen me do no sit up. Remember that. bottom when you're sitting straight up. The more you're sitting up, the more you're working here. See that? That's where you relate. The more you're working here. See how I, how I tightened up here and got loose there? Now see when I lean forward, how this tightens up? And this is releasing. See when I lean back? See how I shift? It shift from here? See that shift? That's it. That's the one seated. See, now we're going to do it raised off of your butt. For you guys who should know how to. Okay, let me see. It's going in the middle. It's going in the video.
Now that's broken due to the fact you lifted off the ground. <laughs> it's working more to cost. Yeah! Uh, 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 please. Okay. I can go. <laughs> See, and that's part of the workout too. <laughs> Interacting with the youth. Um, when you're lifting yourself up, you're working a lot of the, the oblique as well along with your, your front core. You're working some more of the, the side core when you lift yourself up like that and you're holding yourself. And you're also working a whole lot of triceps. A whole lot of triceps. Give you guys another shot. Right here, it's like it's coming around up here, and it's, it's engaging here. I mean, you guys would understand it, but it's, it's working this whole core, and then it flares under the chest, and then it goes into your what's this? Your lat, your trap, your lat. lat. It goes into your lat, and then it goes into your tricep. All right, so you guys, um, we're gonna get in my comments as well. I was, I should say, Dex Good Money's comments. You guys gonna get in the comments saying I don't know the muscles. I don't need to. I know how to build them. You tell me what I need to build. So y'all tell me on, on the chart of me. We gonna get it done. With that being said, I'm gonna show you guys some more variations of some core work. We are gonna do some dragon flag, and I'm gonna give you guys some information about the dragon flag as well. My opinion. Um, okay, there we go. Alright. Again, in-house, you should have this. You can lay down, put your hands under the chair or anything. Alright. Do it like this. Do it like this. as you want you could do them back to back like that or however you want you can mix it up but those are different variations of core work now I've been wanting to tell you guys some my opinion voice my opinion on so far the dragon flag this is a dragon flag right a lot of guys do dragon flags on these poles here Now, you guys know how the dragon flag goes. I don't really do the dragon flag, don't care for it. I'm gonna explain why. All right. I don't like that it hurt. You understand? You can't say uh, it's lack of work, it's lack of weight been doing this for years you guys seen me you guys ain't ever seen me do that and if you guys seen me do it I probably did it in Brookville I know parks I did it in this is the second place I believe I've done that in any other dragon flag I've done was this way the reason I don't like doing it on this pole because you got to do it one side at a time so it's making you work hard you put too much stress on whatever side you're putting it on you understand what I'm saying put too much stress on you understand when it's two bars, you got more control. But these bars are so wide, I'll be hitting my bone, right? My shoulder blade. So that's why I do it on here. I got more here to support. You understand? And I used to do, I did it one-handed before, right? 
on that same flat bench, it hurts. Because you're trying to keep this supported equally and do the same work. So when you do it both hands, you're supporting it properly. Alright? That's like doing a one-handed push-up. It's easy to do it a certain way, right? But you see, most people got to push. Most people got to twist. See? Most people do that. It's hard to go straight down and push straight back up. But with both your hands, it's easy. Right? So the same thing with the dragon flag. It's harder to go straight down. It's easy to do it like this, right? Easy to go down like that. It's harder this way. You understand? So I'm doing the same thing when I'm doing the dragon flag. I'm fighting to keep myself straight because I'm such a fool in the feeling what I want. I want it to be straight. Knowing nothing I can do to keep it straight because it's one-handed. So again, that's why I do the dragon flag with two hands and not one hand. You guys who are doing these things with one hand, you're giving yourself opportunity to be injured too quick. You understand? I see a lot of you young guys doing it. It seems like you guys to do that because you can't do the front lever. Work harder at the front lever and, and, and take the time you putting in to getting the dragon flag and the pictures you taking in the dragon flag, take that time to work hard on the front lever. All right? That way you're fixing a problem and then you're building instead of trying to build as you're creating a problem. You understand? One hand dragon flag, but one bar dragon flag you're building as you're creating the problem. When you're doing the dragon flag with two hands, you're building and avoiding the problem. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm only showing you guys this because uh, I see a lot of people working injured and working towards injury. And I recently been dealing with my, my, my nerve issue. And um, I'm glad to let you guys know it's been healed. So I'll be showing you guys more of the rough stuff in a little while, all right? But with that being said, don't, don't look at these videos. All right, I ain't gonna watch these. We wanna look for the rough stuff. No, you're still gonna end up being hurt if you don't pay attention to how to build. And again, always start from the ground up. So you should do the push-ups, which is great core work. And you should do the slab. You can do that on a bench. You can do it on the floor. You can do it on the... Uh, you can do it anywhere you can grab and it's flat. You can do it in your bed. You can do these in your bed. How many of us get up in the morning? No, all of us, hopefully. <laughs> but everybody don't. Yeah. Get up, right? Get up. Uh, get up. Oh, right? Uh, you want to get up, but you feel a little tired. in your eyes, you know I mean, some of y'all got snot on the side of your mustache, like you drool, whatever. Do this, then get up. Now, when you get in the bathroom, you feel like you want to clean up what you just did. You want to clean that that, that that Maserati you just started up. You want to clean that. You want to go wipe it down, make it look good. Enjoy. You want others to enjoy. You want others to envy. You understand? But if you get up and then start trying to get it together, it's like you constantly getting up on a Monday. Make every day a Friday or a Saturday or a Thursday, however you want it to be, a Sunday. You understand what I'm saying? The great day. As soon as you get up, do some exercise in the bed. All right? I'm gonna give it to you one more time. People be asleep, right? Uh, people wake up like, oh man, they get up. Ooh, they're like, oh my God, tired. Get into it. You can curse people out. Hey, go, go turn that TV off. I ain't playing. All that, but get your setting. Even if you do 10, do that. I'm giving this to y'all like this because uh, y'all ain't gonna be able to get it like that no more. Like this, this freely. You guys gonna have to tune into my channel, not YouTube. Salute. All right, good looking out, King.